So this guy here is Robin Milner. And uh, he had an idea um, to sort of think about computation as interaction. Uh, essentially, his idea was that computation happened because a process like this one um, engaged with a process like this one. And um, the way they engaged was to exchange messages. So essentially, they exchange messages by finding a place uh, to synchronize, like this room here, um, uh, or this table and then to pass along some information uh, at the moment of synchronization. Um, in later versions of the sort of formalized uh, idea of computation as interaction, uh, the only sorts of information that, uh, that could be exchanged was in fact the names of the places at which to synchronize. That sounds kind of um, <clears throat> abstract, but we could think about it more concretely um, uh, as um, cell phones, you know, in terms of cell phones. So imagine that, you know, a process like this one uh, wants to engage with a process, maybe not quite like this one, uh, by ringing them up. And then the, uh, but then the restriction, uh, in order to make this the simplest possible model of interaction, the only thing they can um, uh, say or hear in the cell phone conversation is another cell phone number. Um, and then in, in this sort of stylized notion of computation as interaction, we, uh, uh, we can sort of create new cell phones. And in fact, we sort of elide the distinction between um, cell phones and cell phone numbers. Somehow they are one and the same. And that's sort of what makes the model very abstract, but also very powerful. We can make a picture <clears throat> of this model. So there are, there are essentially seven operations. There's the um, agent at rest, and then an agent that's willing to um, send a message, sort of drop, drop the message out or receive a message. Um, and notice that uh, in the receipt, in the receipt of a of a of an incoming call, the token that we received uh, is hollow, and this sort of indicates that uh, although we might want to refer to it, um, sort of in the rest of the description of our agent's behavior, we uh, don't know before we receive it what the um, the incoming uh, token or message is. Um, there's also uh, operations for aggregating um, uh, agent behaviors. Um, there's uh, operation for creating uh, new uh, cell phone numbers slash cell phones and for Xeroxing agents. But uh, let's, let's see this in action. <clears throat> 